Good morning, everybody, and thank you for your time. Back in February, I presented uh, on the One Stop Shop programme and what we were doing and how we were looking to change things. Today, I really just wanted to talk to you about where we'd got to on that journey and how we had been involving a range of different partners to help us shape and contribute to that. First of all, just a quick recap in terms of One Stop Shop for those of you that didn't see the February presentation. One Stop Shop is quite simply about making government services simpler, clearer and faster. We did a lot of customer engagement and a lot of research and are continuing to do so. And it really came down to making that a very low effort um, experience for customers that was simple, clear and fast. And that's very much the focus for what we're doing. As you can see from the diagram that's up there, uh, it's very much about taking a customer-centric approach to this. So in terms of change, uh, it is actually a radical shift away from the stuff that Queensland Government has done previously and really moving forward into a much more agile, much more customer-centric and much more digital world. The approach that we're taking, as I said, is driven very much by customer insight. We've done a lot of work around customer experience, customer journey mapping, and really understanding uh, what our customers want from government. We're at a very exciting part of the program now, and that was part of the reason I was keen to talk to you today, where we're actually now looking at a range of different solutions and innovations to help deliver on that. Back in February, um, I had presented as part of um, these slides um, how we were going to be going about partnering um, with industry uh, to deliver this programme. The programme as a whole is very much about collaboration. Collaboration with agencies, collaboration with NGOs, collaboration with industry, and very much collaboration with all of our customers. We were looking at it um, as a very... Um, different sort of solution where there was no one big solution. And in terms of opportunities for SMEs of all shapes and sizes and all sort of different types of skills and specialities, that's a really key message. Uh, we're not going for one big bang approach to this. Um, and so there's plenty of opportunities in there for everyone. It's very much looking at it in line with the ICT renewal strategy in terms of that sort of digital first, streamlined processes and a much more efficient approach to government overall. So in terms of uh, where we've been uh, since I spoke to you last in February, we've really been pulling together and establishing a team um, that's focused on bringing together the best brains, the best innovation, uh, and the best thinking uh, to help us deliver. It is a mixture of internal and external, uh, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. And it does, as I said, create really good opportunities for that partnership working. And I know certainly some of our partners are in the room today. So in terms of that team approach, it's fundamental to the way in which we set up One Stop Shop that the core team for One Stop Shop, so the One Stop Shop Strategy and Implementation Office, is a small team. It's not a big team and it's not going to be a big team. Uh, it's very much there um, to help um, that collaboration and leverage process and drive the strategy. But it's very much focused on pulling in uh, all of the uh, expertise that exists in industry to help us to deliver. Um, over the last six months, uh, we have used a range of different procurement techniques uh, to pull in a range of different partners, some of whom you can see up there. Um, and it's very much a case of, at the moment, we've got within the core team um, about a dozen different SMEs working alongside us uh, to deliver uh, on the programme just at this point in time. In terms of some of the people that are up there, uh, you'll recognise a lot of the logos and you'll think, okay, so why has she put a Deloitte's logo up there? That's not an SME. But the interesting story behind that one is actually that one of our SMEs actually brought Deloitte's in as a partner to help them deliver. Um, so it's again looking at it from a different point of view in terms of leveraging some of the skills um, and sort of capacity uh, that they needed to help deliver a piece of work. So we're looking at things in a very sort of different way in a different lens. We've brought in specialists up there from a range of different industries and backgrounds um, and very much focused on how we work together collaboratively and the approach is a collaborative approach uh, where everybody will share um, the insights and the expertise uh, to deliver a better outcome. And as I said at the start, we're working very much in partnership with all of the agencies. So again, a lot of the time is about finding and sourcing help and assistance and solution uh, for the agencies as well as delivering that whole of government picture. Obviously, uh, Dave in his presentation had referred to the customer identity management, and that is one of the sort of the core projects uh, that we're working on. That's one of the whole of government pieces. 
So in terms of the opportunities, obviously we're, not, we're nowhere near the size and scale of an education, um, but we are looking at making sure that we create, um, as we go, a lot of different opportunities. So far there's been about 40 business opportunities created out of the One Stop Shop programme, and we're going to continue to do that as we move forward. And those have pulled in people and companies with a whole range of different skills from uh, ICT as a service, project management, um, some around um, data analysis, um, a lot of uh, customer experience and UX experience, um, communications and strategy work. So again, a whole range of different pieces have come together into that equation. One of the other things that we've been trying really hard to do is to sort of cut through the red tape um, and really uh, deliver much faster. Um, so the programme as a whole has got some really ambitious timescales associated with it, and as part of being able to deliver that, I needed to be able uh, to cut through uh, some of the sort of timelines that are typically associated with procurement processes. Uh, I've put up there that our record so far in terms of getting a contract done, dusted and signed is two days. Uh, I'm not suggesting that I can do that all the time, but in terms of actually finding ways through and making sure that we can deliver and bring in the people that we need uh, on a quicker basis, we are finding ways um, of being able to do that within the procurement guidelines um, and making sure that all of the boxes are ticked from that point of view. So in terms of the new opportunities, we're getting into a really exciting phase and we'll continue um, to engage um, with the SME market um, to really look at how uh, we can utilise a lot of the expertise that's there to really sort of help shape and leverage the way forward. So we're shaping up what our phase two programme looks like at the moment and some of the innovation that we're looking to put into play for that programme. So in terms of where we're at um, uh, today, we are ready to start talking about sort of how we're going to drive forward with our service outlet pilot opportunities, and that's been a radically new approach to how government delivers services. We have a pilot region which is in Lockyer Valley and Scenic Room. We spent a lot of time over the last few months talking to the community there, talking to all of the community leaders, the businesses, the NGOs, um, about the way in which they access services at the moment and what they'd like to see in future. And out of that, um, we've now got some really strong opportunities for improvement um, and some opportunities to pilot some very different models of government service delivery that are about utilising technology in new and different ways. So again, that's something that we're now at a stage where we can start to talk about and start to look at sort of collaborative partnering trials. Um, there will be trials and pilots because we're looking to learn from those and then looking to use that to build um, a case for statewide rollout um, of the effective solutions from there. Obviously, um, we're also looking for new ideas. Um, so uh, earlier uh, in the presentations, uh, you'd heard about the innovation approach um, for new ideas. So again, really keen to hear from anybody who has got some pieces of the puzzle uh, that we can all join together. Thank you very much.